Hey guys, it is time, juju time. Um, got a couple of minutes here. Let's see if I can find myself live. I never know. Let's see here. Notification. Who knows? Anyway, so I thought uh, what I worked today on is this here and put another layer on that and then also work on the cut canvases from last week and go a little further on that. So that's what I'm heading for so far. If I could just find myself live on here. Okay, maybe, maybe not. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this. I mean, good Lord. It's like you have to be smarter than what you're working with, and I'm obviously not. So, anyway, I'm live now. There we go. Let's see if I can, if I can find it. Get comments on. There we go. Okay, I don't know if anybody's here or not, but we'll see. It looks like one set of eyeballs there. Okay, so uh, continuing with the purple theme here. If you remember, I put this on, um, I had just dipped it in the gesso and water, and then I applied it to the canvas. I did not go over it with the uh, gel medium. So it's not as hard, and the fabric is more absorbent than it would normally be. So I'm just, I'm just playing here. So I think I'm going to take some of this Purple Lake um, Dayla Rowney ink, and I'm going to start applying that on here. And I've got plenty of water, because I always have my water here. And I'm probably going to squirt that down really well. And then let's see what happens. Oh, that was so pretty. Now I'm just applying this on the, the top edges here. I'm not trying to go down into the crevices. So I'm going to put that all over the top. I love Dada Rowney ink. I just, man, it's just great stuff. And because it's an acrylic, it dries and it's, it's permanent. Okay, so there's on there. So let's put a little more water on there and see what happens. Oh, it's almost like it's blooming. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get a little help over here. Tilt and let it run and make a mess. Do. Um, I don't want to forget about the outside edges here. wicking the fabric is wicking that purple up and so I'm not going to go back and try and make that a solid color I'm just um, going to allow that to continue to wick and I'm going to set it aside after I put the lid back on this because I will knock it over and we will come back to that in a few this is why I always have so many things in progress now, I'm not doing this to keep the table clean, obviously. I'm just keeping it off stuff. Uh, so I have so many things in progress because there's so many layers going on. It takes me forever. Okay, I have tried some of the Dayla Rowney, the Purple Lake, just a little bit on here, just to see. Because I like that little touch of, of red-violet going on here. However, I, just, I don't think that is um, vivid enough for me. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go over here to my uh, primary elements from Color Art. Now, I, I have, I think, uh, most of them are going to sit in my eye. 
most of the colors here. And I, what I do is I, I do them by color schemes, right? I do my cools and I just work my way down. So I know I want a purple here, so I'm trying to find, let's see, I think this ginger flower might be nice in there. So once more, I'm going to spray my canvas down. Remember that that this canvas was done with basically with watercolors for the most part. And this primary element is a pigment. It's a dry pigment. Hey, Kathy. It's a dry pigment, and it will reactivate once it's dry. But, but what I'll do is I, I layer things so much, and I may come back in with, say, that purple lake later on and go over this. There's no telling. I just go back and forth until I get it where I want it to be. So let's just try. Ooh. Just brushing it on and once again, going for the water. I'm just playing here. Now if that's too much, I can wipe off or dab, not wipe, but I just dab it off here. I'm just putting it on there. So let's see. Good. I love how when you do things like this and use the water, how the colors interact and give you a color that you hadn't expected. And they just bleed into each other, which I absolutely love, which is why I do this. It also goes in here into these crackles. You see that? And it really accentuates the crackles. The downside to this, of course, is that when you're working wet like this, you, you have to let it dry. At some point, you can't just keep going. So it has to sit. Let me see. So that, go that goes a long way, you can see with that. Um, I use these primary element pigments all the time and they really go a long way. They will last you a very, very long time. I don't know why I have so many of them. I don't use all of them, but it's like, it's all about choices. I really like to have choices when I'm working. So I've got that there. Hmm, maybe I could go, I don't know. I also like magicals and that magicals, have a bit of a, a secondary color in there. I don't know. Okay, I'm living on the edge here. I don't know what's going to happen with this. This is called Tibetan Poppy Teal. I'm just going to give it a little go in there. Whoa, okay. Liking that. So I'm always glad when I pick the right one. Okay, so this is giving me some more of that turquoise in there. I love the way that blends in with this, um, whatever that was. What was that? Oh, ginger flower. So I'm put some over here. Okay, I'm going to leave this yellowish over here. Um, I want that break from the the blue green and the red violet that's going on here. Okay, so let's put that one aside and go to, this is the top one, haven't touched it. So, hmm, I'm gonna go use some more of this Tibetan poppy teal. I have no plan. I never have a plan. I'm just, I like to, I grab what, what appeals to me. I like this color, so I'm going to go with it. And sometimes for me, I enjoy um, trying to make it work. If, if I put two colors on here and they don't go, then it's like, okay, how am I going to save that? What am I going to do? So that's, that's working. Okay. 
This also gives a bit of, of shading here. It's a bit darker, so I can shade a little bit. It's the insides of these openings. The, um, the magicals tend to come in sets and I don't have as many of those because they don't offer all the colors independently. So if you want a particular color, you're stuck buying the whole set, which unless they changed something recently, which kind of hacks me off because it's like I don't always want all those colors. Sometimes I want a particular one, but they do offer some by themselves. You just have to check. It's um, Lindy's L-I-N-D-Y apostrophe S stamp gang is the place where you can get the magicals. And again, they're just dry pigment, just like what the primary elements are. You get more for your money, I think, with the primary elements. And I just really love the primary elements. Hi, itty bitty. You come into the kitties is coming to say hi here. Yes, I see you. You can't come over here. Okay, so maybe a little more back over here. And some of these little balls. Hey, don't want to get on that. She's like, oh, on stuff. Um, may come loose and you know whatever it's not that big of a deal okay so we've got that on there what shall I do next bye I think I will go with hmm I have my stand over here that has all my stuff on it so that's why I can just, it's on rollers. Um, I can just look and see what I want to do. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in a different, different direction. I'm gonna go with some orange here. In the spots where I already have orange, but remember those were watercolor and also the Daler Rowney uh, flame orange was what was down there. But I like everything to have some shine to it. I love metallic, so. This is the primary elements. This is called orange peel. I love the way that accentuates the, the things, the beads there. Kind of bring that over a little bit. And where it meets that blue, it's making a green. That's that's really nice. Okay. How about a little more of the orange over here on this corner? I'm extending this out to get on some of these little balls there too, just because it's cool. Right now, that red violet that I had on the base, um, thinking about how I'm going to put that in here. That's going to interact with this blue and make a really nice, I think, purple. So, 
let's see am i gonna go with that ginger flower again what the heck i usually i will keep them out so i know what i've used because i go back and forth so much okay i don't want to cover up all the blue but ooh, looky there I make sound effects, sorry. Drives my wife crazy. Now, one thing I can do once this dries, if I'm really attached to the way it looks right now and I want to keep everything that's happening right here on here. Um, one thing I can do is I can just go back, over, I can use my varnish and I can go back over this with a varnish. I layer the varnish too. It's not just a finished coat with me, I use it all over the place. So let's see, how about, I'm thinking a little bit right in here. 